What is up, everybody? Now, we are going to be looking at my hon honeypot ants, uh, Momicus mexicanus, for their scientific name. Uh, by the way, I am known as Ants Flagstaff, uh, as you can see by the YouTube channel name, and you can find fi find me on Instagram by Ants Flagstaff as well. I should look should be the only person that pops up. <laughs> but so, what's special about these guys? First off, they are an awesome yellow yellow color there, as you can see. But where the real magic and like coolness of them happens is down here. Now you can see a bunch of brood, aka pupa there. Now those are basically baby ants, slash uh, ants that are ready to e close, which means hatch. So. Also, they are um, called cocoons as well. So there are naked pu pupa and cocooned pupa. What you're seeing right here is cocooned pu pu pupa. And if my phone will allow it, maybe we will be able to see some of some lava. And if I can find some lava, I mean there was one piece of lava right right there. Also, sorry about the quality is bad. Uh, the glass is dirty. <laughs> but yeah, so what is best special about these guys is that they hang upside down. Slash, they hang from the roof of their nest. So all of those blue, uh, like orb things. Those are ants. Those are the butts of ants, and those are shaking because I just bumped the uh, thing that they are on. Now, these right here that are like moving, those are uh, more uh, tiny lo lava that are most likely like just turned in into lava, are also known as a first star lava. I guess you could also say. Uh, a lot of people uh, are like extremely formal with with that, but I'm not. I I don't care if it's a first star or, yeah. <laughs> now, it's been forever since I have seen the queen to this call call colony, because she loves to hide. But let's get back to uh these blue orbs. Now those are the butts of the ants. Now, they are blue because of basically two e reasons. First, they act like a living fridge. Yes, you heard me correctly. They, they act just like a living fridge. They store food inside their butts when food is scarce out in the wild and the reason why they are blue is because I'm feed feeding them blue sugar water which is awesome now I am hoping to get more call colonies uh, aligned here uh, in a in a Pacific order uh, I'm hoping to to basically make a rainbow out of honeypot ants, <laughs> of colonies of honeypot ants. So that will be cool. Now these guys all in a need of a new nest. So you guys will hopefully see a video of me moving them into a new nest. They are cool, they are, so you can get a better glance of how big they are. I mean, they are 
a good sized ant. These are the size of a small grape, so that is cool. So yeah. And all of these are springtails. Uh it doesn't hurt them. It doesn't hurt the the the, the ants. The, the spring tails are a natural uh forester cleaner or desert cleaner, whatever you want to say. They live all throughout the world and what they do is they take trash and they eat it and basically decompose it and turn it into dirt and stuff. They're also known as I I isopods, uh, spring tails for their common name. Now the reason why there's so many is first off, they love to. The honey pot ants love to keep this chamber here open for trash, which is not good, because they should be putting their trash right there. Now, I did actually just uh, clean out their trash just a few hours ago, so there's nothing there. Hoping that they will start to take some stuff stuff up, up there. And yes, that right there is another colony, which we won't get into this video. Let's just do that real quick and see if anyone can guess what, what species this is. Oh yeah, so this will be a very I've, I almost said a very long video. <laughs> no, this video is like what gonna be seven, eight minutes, something like that. But this is Ant Flagstaff signing out. Please uh, feel free to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications for more content. I'm hoping to be getting uh, professional cameras and, and stuff instead of just you using my phone camera. So that will be exciting when that comes. So please like, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode.